Tell us about the conversation when you found out that it was going to happen, and what was your initial emotion when you hung up the phone? Um, well, Steve Cohen called me, and uh, it was around, I believe, late December or early January, and I think it was early January, and <clears throat> I thought he wanted to talk about the moves they'd made because they'd made all those those and they spent two hundred million dollars on on four players. And uh, I started talking about the team, and then he kind of interrupted me and said, "Well, it's not well the reason why I'm calling. I'm calling because well, we've de- we have uh, decided we were going to retire your number." So that caught me completely off guard, and uh, I was stunned. And um, when I hung up the phone after the conversation, I immediately called my brother. And, um, you know, it just kind of soaked in. It took a while to soak in. I mean, it's just really, the Mets are 60 years old. It's their 61st season. I'll be the sixth player up there. So it's like one every decade. And there's only four players now once I'm up there and two managers. Uh, it's a great honor. It's the greatest honor that anybody, uh, that an organization can, can bestow on a player. And uh, I'm just still overwhelmed. Do you have your speech ready? No, I don't. I'm a great professor. <laughs> I, I have five minutes, so I've got to get it done. My family's coming in. I've got a lot of a few people to recognize. Uh, I wish I could have more time to do more, but they got to play a ball game. I'll get it done in five minutes. 